Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve O-Level Mathematics D Paper 1 in a session October-November 2022 Paper 1-1. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1 part A, the temperature was minus 2 degree. The temperature decreased by 8 degree. Find the temperature after this change. So the initial temperature was minus 2 and it is decreased to minus 8. So initial and decrease to minus 8 so the temperature changes minus 10 degree right now for part b on another day the temperature increase from minus 5 to 3 degree work out the increase in temperature right how much the temperature is increased 3 minus minus 5 so this is 3 plus 5 so this would be equals to 8 so the temperature increase is 8 degree right now for question number 2, find 45% of 1.20. So 45% is 45 over 100 times 1.20. And this is 0 0.45 times 1.20. So let me do the product. We have 1, 2, 0 and 4, 5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4. Now let me add 0, 0, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 1 and 4, 4 plus 1 which is 5, right. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, total 4 decimal place, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have put a decimal point over here. So the answer is 0 0.54 dollars. Now for number 3, write these fractions in order of size starting with the smallest. So as you can see, the denominator of all the fractions are different, 12, 5, 30, 15. And the common multiple is 60, right? So 12 times 5 is 60. So let me multiply this fraction by 5. 5 times um, 12 is 60 times by 12. 30 times 2 is 60 and 15 times 4 is 60 right okay 11 times 5 is 55 over 60 4 times um, 2 is 8 and 4 times 1 is 4 this is 48 over 60 2 times 7 is 14 um, and 2 times 2 is 4 and 5 54 over 60 and uh, 3 times uh, 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 1 is 4 and 5 52 out of 60 right now the denominators of all the fractions are same we can compare the numerator and arrange the fractions from smallest to largest right so the smallest one is 48 and then 52 and then 54 and 55 so 48 is 4 out of 5 and then 52 is 13 out of 15, right? And 54, 27 out of 30. And the last one is 55, which is 11 over 12, right? Question number four, the diagram shows the position of two ships A and B. This is ship A and ship B. On the diagram, one centimeter represents 30 meters. The scale you have given, one centimeter equals to 30 meters. Part A, find by measurement the actual distance from B of B from A. So the distance between the B and A, right? So let me measure the actual distance by using the ruler. Okay, so this is, yes, as you can see, the distance between A to B is, uh, this is 5.5, 5.6 and 5.7 centimeter. Right, the actual distance by measurement. Okay, according to the scale, we have to find the answer in terms of meters. So we have given that 1 centimeter is equals to 30 meters according to our scale. So what is 5.7 centimeter? This is 30 times 5.7 meters. Right. 
so here we can do uh, cancel one zero so remove move the decimal point to the right so three times 57 meters right so 57 times by 3 is 3 times uh, 7 is 21 3 times 5 is 15 16 17 171 meters is the actual distance according to the scale right now for part b measure the bearing of b from a so we have to measure the bearing of b from point a by using the protector so let me check the bearing of B from A. Right. Let me extend this north line. Right. And this angle we have to measure the bearing of B from A. Right. Mm. So this is 120. Or yes 124 before 125 yeah in my case this is 124 degrees this is a bearing 124 degrees right now for part C a third ship is positioned at C C is on the bearing of 164 from A and on the bearing of uh, 252 from B. Find and label the position of C on the diagram. So from point A, we have to find the bearing of 164. Okay, so at A, 164. Where is 164 at A? Let me check. 164. 164. Yes. So 165, this is 164, right? And uh, from B, it is on the bearing of 252. So if I draw the straight line at B, this straight line is 180. So we have to do 252 minus 180. So 2 minus 0 is 2. 5, you have 1. And 15 minus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, which is 7. So we have to find 72 degree from B. Okay, so 72 degree, you can see we have 70, 71 and 72, this point, right. Okay, now let me connect the point with A. And this point with B. And their point of intersection is the third ship, the position of third ship, that is the ship C. Question number five, write 306.248, number one, correct to two decimal place. So two decimal place, we have 306.248, so two five, you have to round. Right. Now for the second part, correct to two significant figures. The first is 3 and the other significant figure is 0, which is round to 1. And we have 0, 0, 0.000. Right. 310 basically. Right. Now part B, by writing each number correct to one significant figure, estimate the value of. Right. So the one significant figure, we have just 9 and its scale minus uh, cube root. One significant figure, we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1000. Right. So 9 square, 9 times 9, which is 81. And this is uh, 1000 is 10 cube and its whole power is 1 by 3. So we can cancel this. So from 81, take away 10. So the final answer is 71. From 81, take away 10 is 71. Right. Now for question number six, write uh, this as a power of four. So four comes one, two, three, four, five times. So four power five. Part B, we have to simplify this expression. So five, its square root is power one by two and times by two. So this is just equals to five, right? Now for part C, we have to simplify this means two power is four and x cube its power is 4 so 2 power 4 is 16 and x power 3 times 4 is 12 16 x 12 
question 7 part a work out the division of the fraction so first we have to make the same denominator so 4 times 2 makes 8 so we have 7 over 8 minus 3 times 2 is 6 over 4 times 2 is 8 and 7 minus 6 is 1 out of 8 right now for part b work out the division give your answer as a mixed number in its lowest term right 5 times 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 out of 5 divides 4 over 7. And in the next step, we have to uh, do the reciprocal of the second fraction and change the division into multiplication. That is 7 out of 4. And simplify 4 times 2 is 8. So this is 2 by 5 times 1 over uh, 7 over 1. Right? And further simplification, we have uh, 2 times 7 is 14. This would be out of 5. And uh, 5 times uh, five times 2 is 10. Uh, plus 4 is 14 out of 5. 2, 4 by 5 is the answer in next number in its lowest term. So 2, 4 by 5. Right. Now for question number 8, we have to factorize this. So 3 is a common factor and A. So a is left and 3 times 4 is 12, right? So 3a into um, 4 plus a or a plus 4. Question number 9, part a. In the Venn diagram, shade the region represented by a intersection b. So a and b, the intersection is the common region. So this is going to be the shaded region of a intersection b. Right. Now for part B, uh, this Venn diagram shows the information about the number of students who study English E, Spanish S and German G. Right. Now for part 1, find the number of students who study English and German, English and German but not Spanish. Right. English and German is this but not Spanish. So only 5 students study English and German but not Spanish. Right. Now for the second part, find the number of G union S uh, complement. Right. So this is G and this is S. And this is the union of G and S. And its complement is a number that is outside, which is 11 and 4. So the numbers are 11 plus 4, which is equals to 15. Right. Question number 10, part A, write the number in standard form. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 3.2 times 10 power 8 because we move to the left, right? Okay, now for part B, we have to evaluate this expression, give your answer in standard form, right? So we have 2 divides 4 times 1 over 10 power 9 plus 3. I, I moved the power to the denominator. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 10 power 9 plus 3 is 12. Right. So 1 by 2 is uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 10 power negative 12 if, when we move to the numerator. Right. And uh, if I move the decimal point to the one unit to the um, uh, right side, we have 5 times 10 power negative of 13. We add, we subtract minus 1 when we move to the right. And for left, we add, right. Now, for question number 11, write 120 as a product of its prime factors, right. So, 120, we can write this down as... Uh, um, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 60, right? 2 is a prime number, but 60 is not a prime number. We can do 60 as uh, 2 times 3 is 6 and 0, so 2 times 30, right? So we have 2 times 2 times 30 is uh, 2 times 15 is 30, right? And again, 15 is not a prime number. We can break 15 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is 15, right? So as a product of prime number, we have uh, the prime factorization of 120 is 2 power 3. 2 cube times 3 times 5, 
right now for part b 315 is a this is a prime factorization of 315 use this information to find the smallest integer uh, value of n such that 315 times n is a square number so 315 times 10 is a square number when the square root of the number exists so if we have 315 times n so we have three square times 5 times 7 so if we can make the all the powers even so we can times by 5 and times by 7 so this would be equals to 3 scale times 5 scale times 7 scale so 3 times 5 this um, sorry um, 5 times 7 this number is 35 the number 35 make this um, the product a scale number 335 yes now for question number 12 expand and simplify part a 3 times uh, 2 is 6x plus 3 minus 2 times 4 is 8x minus 2 times 3 is 6 6 and minus 8 which is minus 2x and 3 minus 6 is minus 3 right so the simplified expression is minus 2x minus 3 right now for part b uh, again we have to expand and simplify so 5x with x scale minus 3x plus 5x and uh, minus 15 right in the next step we have x scale and plus 2x minus 15 Combine just simplifying the right uh, like terms x square plus 2x minus 15 is the expanded form of this expression now for question number 13 part a the nth term of a sequence is 3n square minus 1 find the first three terms of the sequence right so for first term we have to put n equals to 1 right so 3 times 1 square minus 1 3 times 1 minus 1 this is 3 minus 1 which is equals to 2 the first term is 2 right now for n equals to 2 we have a second term which is 3 times 2 square minus 1 3 2 square is 4 minus 1 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1 which is 11 right now for n equals to 3 we have 3 times 3 square minus 1 which is 3 times 9 minus 1 3 times 9 is 27 minus 1 which is equals to 26 so 2 11 and 26 are the three terms first three terms of this sequence now for part b now um, these are the first five terms of a different sequence find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this sequence right Okay, so as you can see, 1, 3, 9, 27, uh, 81. So every time it is the product of 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. So this is a geometric sequence. This nth term is a n equals to a1 r power n minus 1. a1 is the first term which is 1. r is the common ratio. The ratio is between 3 divides 1, 9 divides 2. The common ratio is 3. Its power is n minus 1. So we can say the nth term is 3 power n minus 1. Question number 14. b, c and d b c and d are the points on the circumference of a circle center at o a b is tangent to the circle at b a b this is tangent to the circle at b and we know that tangent is always perpendicular to the diameter of a circle so this is 90 degree right uh, b d is the diameter b to d this is the diameter of a circle o c a o c a this is a straight line right and we have another information that the triangle over the diameter is a right triangle so this is a triangle over the diameter so this is a right triangle and the angle opposite to the diameter is 90 degree right so the angle uh, c d b c d b which is given which is x degree find an expression in terms of x for each of the following write each expression in its simplest form the first expression is we need to find the angle c o b so where is c o b c o b this angle we have to find right for the part one c o b this angle okay 
so as you can see we have the angle at the circumference which is b c d b at the same segment c o b right both angles have same segments c d b c o b right and the angle at the circumference is twice the angle at the center uh, when they are subtended by the same arc so this angle is 2x 2 times of x degree right so 2x degrees right now for part b o a b o a and b this angle right so this is really easy this angle is 90 degree right and this angle is 2x and we have to find the third angle of the triangle a o b right so though to find the third angle we can do o a b uh, this is equals to uh, from 180 we have to subtract 90 and 2x the other two angles right so we can do 180 minus 90 plus 2x right so this is 90 plus 2x is the final answer sorry the sum of the two angles this is minus here so 90 minus 2x degrees now the third part is cbo so where is cbo cbo this angle let me show you this angle we have to find right c b and o so if i consider this triangle the right angle triangle this angle is x this angle is 90 and we have to find the third angle so to find the third angle we do 180 minus the sum of these two angles right okay so c b o is 180 degree minus the sum of 90 and x this is 180 minus 90 minus x which is equals to 90 minus x right Question number 15, triangle ABC, ABC is mathematically similar to triangle DEC, right, both are mathematically similar, AB is 12 centimeter, BC is 27 centimeter, CD is 7 centimeter and DE is 3 centimeter which is given to us. Now for part A, we have to calculate AC, right, a to C is this side. So since they are mathematically similar triangles, so we have to use the concept of similarity. When two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So the side AC is opposite of angle B. Divide the opposite of angle E is 7. This is equals to the other two given sides we can take. Um, opposite to C which is 12 and opposite to C which is 3. 12 out of 3 right okay now cross multiplication we have AC which is equals to 12 times 7 over 3 what is 12 times 7 7 times 2 is 14 7 times 1 is 7 and 8 so this is 84 out of 3 now let me simplify this 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 2 is uh, 6 and we have 24, six time, th 3 times 8 is 24. So 28 centimeter is the length of side AC. Now for part B, given that the area of the triangle ABC is 160 centimeter square, calculate the area of a triangle DEC. Okay, so this area we have given is 160 centimeter square. We have to find the area of this triangle, right? Again, using the concept of similarity. We have to find the area of a smaller triangle. We can do area of a smaller triangle over area of larger triangle is equals to uh, the length of smaller over the length of larger whole scale. Right. So area of a smaller we have to find. So we can say AS and area of a larger is 160. This is equals to we can take any side length. Uh, if we can do the smaller is 3 and its opposite is 12. Yes. So 3 out of 12 and its whole scale, right? Okay, so area of a smaller, this would be equals to 160 times uh, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 1 square is 1, 4 square is 16. So hmm, we can say 
uh, from 16 we can cancel 16 times 1 is 16 and 0 so this is 10 centimeter scale is the area for the smaller triangle question number 16 part a find the gradient of the line l so this is a line l we have to find its gradient since the y-intercept is 1 we have to find another point this is a gradient the rise is now 1 and 2 units and the run is 1 unit so the gradient is rise over run right so from the y-intercept the rise is two units and the run is one unit right so we can so say that the slope or the gradient of the line l is two right now for part b the shaded region on the diagram is defined by three inequalities write down these three inequalities right so the first inequality is really easy this is a straight line which is x equals to one this line is y equals to five right and what is this line the line l is y equals to 2x mx plus c c is 1 the y intercept is 1 the slope is 2 right okay so the first inequality as you can see all the value upper portion is shaded so y is greater than equals to 2x plus 1 this is my first inequality um, if I can write down all the three inequalities y is greater than equals to 2x plus 1 is the first inequality right okay then this line is x equals to 1 and more than 1 is shaded so we can say that x is greater than equals to 1 right this line is y equals to 5 and the lower one is shaded so y is less than equals to 5 right these are the three inequalities Question number 17, the diagram shows a speed time graph of Sam's uh, journey from work, from home to work. Okay, so this is speed time graph from home to work. Number A, calculate the acceleration in meter per second for the first two seconds of uh, Sam's journey. So first two seconds, uh, two minutes, sorry. So two minutes, we know that one minute equals to 60 seconds and two minutes equals to um, two times of 60, which is 120 seconds. Right. So this is 120 seconds. So acceleration is basically the gradient of the triangle, the change in y values over the change in x value, right? So we can say the acceleration is the y values changes from 0 to 20, which is 20, over the x values changes from 0 to 120. So this is 120, right? 0 is cancelled with 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12, which is 1 out of 6 uh, meter per second scale. Or you can use 20 or 120. This is also fine. Okay, now for the second part B, calculate Sam's average speed in meter per second for the whole journey, right? So average speed, we know that speed is distance over time, right? And average speed is total distance traveled over total time taken. So the total distance traveled for speed time graph is area under the curve, right? So if we can start this, we can find total distance traveled is area under the curve. Right. So area under the curve, we can see this curve is a trapezium. We have to find the area of a trapezium, right? So area of a trapezium is half the sum of parallel sides. The two parallel sides are 60, 0 to, uh, sorry, 0 to 600. This side is 600. And this is from 120 to 480. So this side is 480 minus 120. This is 0. This is 6 and this is 3. So this would be 360 and height is 20 okay half the sum of two parallel sides two parallel sides are 300 and this is 360 times by the height height is 20 right okay so two times one is two two times 10 is 20 and what is 600 and 360 600 plus 360 0 6 6 plus 3 is 9. So 960 times 10 is uh, 960 times 10. This is equals to 9600. This is the distance in meters, right? So if I substitute into the average speed, which is um, average speed 
is total distance traveled which is 9600 meters over total time taken and the total time taken from the graph is from 0 to 600 seconds so we have 600 seconds so you can cancel zeros with zeros and we are left with 96 over 6 right so we can cancel this with the 6 times table 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 1 is 6 7 8 9 we have 3 36 6 times 6 is 36 so this is 16 meter per second is the average speed of the whole journey question number 18 b is directly proportional to square of a so b is directly proportional to a square and b equals to some constant k times of a square right when a is 3 b is 18 we can solve for a b is 18 equals to k and a value is 3 so 3 square is 9 18 over 9 which is uh, uh, 9 times 2 is 18 2 is the k value right so we have the equation b equals to 2 k scale so we have to find b when a is 5 so b equals to 2 times 5 scale so b equals to 2 times 5 scale is 25 and 2 times 25 which is equals to 50 so the b value is 50 right question number 19 a b d is an equilateral triangle a b and d equilateral triangle is a triangle having all the three sides and all the three angles are same right c lies on db c lies on db uh, ac is perpendicular to uh, dc uh, sorry bt right this line is perpendicular show that the triangle a dc is concurrent to the triangle abc give a reason of each statement you make okay so two triangles are concurrent we can prove by using the postulates of uh, side side angle or angle angle side right so let's see so the first thing is in both triangle this side is common ac is common side so both the triangles have the same side so for first triangle ac equals to ac this is the common side this is a reason for the first postulate right now for the second postulate we have a common angle which uh, is 90 degree so a c b is 90 a c d is 90 right angle a c b equals to angle a c d this is 90 degree and we can say common angle right okay and uh, the third we have a common side and common angle for the third we can we know that the triangle is um, equilateral triangle so the side a b and a d both are same right so a b equals to a d because the triangle is equilateral triangle right so by using the postulate of by uh, side angle side triangle a d c and triangle a b c are concurrent right question number 20 a farmer records the mass of each of his ship uh, sheep some of the results are summarized in the table and illustrated in the histogram. You have given the mass in kilograms and the frequency. And the histogram is frequency, density and mass. Uh, part A, use the histogram to find the value of A. So the value of A is over here, which is between 50 to uh, 20. 15 to 20. So there is 15 and this is 20. So 15 to 20, the frequency density is 6 and the frequency is A. And what is the class width? The class width, we can find the class width is 15 to 20, the class width is 5, right? So we can find the value of A by using the formula of frequency density. The formula of frequency density is frequency over the class width, right? So we have the frequency density, which is 6, the frequency is A, and the class width is 5. So 6 times 5 is 30, which is equals to A. So the A value is 30.
right now for part b complete the histogram so we have to complete the histogram the last two is not done so between 20 to 30 we have to do and from 30 to 50 we have to do uh, we have the frequencies 40 and 20 let me find the frequency density and the class width we need for frequency density the class width between 10 to 30 is 10 at 20 to 30 the difference is 10 30 to 50 the difference is 20 right so let me find the uh, frequency density the frequency density is frequency which is 40 and the class width is 10 and the second frequency density is the frequency is 20 and the class width is also 20 right so this is 4 and here we have 1 right so let me draw the height of 4 the histogram with the height of 4 the frequency density is 4 this is the histogram between the interval 20 to 30 and from 30 to um, 50 it's 1 the height of 1 okay so this is a complete shape of the histogram Question number 21, we have a matrix A and the matrix A plus 2B is given, part A find B. So to solve for B, if I can use this equation, we can say 2B, this would be equals to 1, 10, 5 and 12 and minus A, shifting the A on the other side, right? And what is B? B is equals to 1 by 2 of 1, 10, 5, 12 minus a by 2 right so dividing by 2 on both sides or we can say b is equals to 1 by 2 is outside right and we have to subtract the two brackets taking the half uh, common so the two are 1 10 5 12 and the matrix a is uh, the matrix a we have given which is 3 minus 4 1 and 2 right so what is b 1 half Okay, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 10 minus minus plus 4, so this is 14, 5 minus 1, which is 4, and 12 minus 2, which is 10, right? Now, let me divide by 2, which is minus 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 5 is 10, so this is a matrix B. Now, for part B, find A inverse, so A inverse is a joint of a matrix A, divide by the determinant of the matrix A, right? So what is the determinant of the matrix A? Determinant of the matrix A is 3 times 2 minus 1 times minus 4. 3 times 2 is uh, 6. We have to do the cross multiplication. 3 times 2, 1 times minus 4 with a negative sign. Minus minus plus is 4. This would be equals to 10. So here 1 out of 10 and the adjoint of 2 cross 2 matrix, we have to change the positions. 3 and 2 changes to 2, 3. And here we have to change the signs. 1 minus 4 changes to minus 1, 4. Right. So we can say that the inverse of the matrix A is 1 out of 10, 2, 4, minus 1, and 3. Question number 22, part A. Uh, we have given the standard form of a quadratic equation. We have to convert into vertex form, find the values of A and the value of B. Okay, so first we can take x, the coefficient of x square common from the first two terms and minus 7 is outside. In the next step, we have to take the coefficient of x, which is minus 6, divided by 2, which is equals to minus 3. Take its whole scale, which would be equals to 9, when we add and subtract 9 inside the bracket x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 and minus 7 is outside right so here combining the first three terms x square minus 6x plus 9 taking minus 9 outside minus 9 minus 7 right so here we have x minus 3 whole square and what is um, 7 minus 7 minus 9 so 7 plus 9 which is equals to 16 so minus 16 Okay, so we have the A value is negative 3 and the B value we have is negative of 16. If we compare with this form. Right, now for part B, hence uh, solve the equation, put equals to 0 and show you're working. Okay, the solution of this equation is basically x minus 3 whole square minus 16 equals to 0. 
and x minus 3 whole square equals to 16, right? 16 is a square of 4, so taking square root on both sides, so x minus 3 whole square equals to 4 whole square. By taking the square root, we can cancel the squares. So x minus 3, this would be equals to plus minus 4 when we do the square root, right? Okay, so the first solution is x minus 3 equals to 4 and x minus 3 equals to minus 4, right? So here x equals to 4 plus 3 and from here x equals to minus 4 plus 3. So the first solution is 7 and the other is minus 1. 7 and minus 1 are the two solutions. Question number 23, volume of a cone uh, and curve surface area of a cone, surface area of a sphere. These three formulas we have given. Uh, a solid cone has a radius y centimeter. Okay, let me draw the solid cone. Okay, if I draw the cone. Okay. Okay, uh, and we have given the radius of a solid cone is y centimeters here. The radius is the distance from the middle. So if I draw the line from here, this is the radius. Right, so the radius of a solid cone, which is y centimeter. The slant height, this is a slant height L, right of a cone is 120% larger than the radius of the cone. 120% larger means in 100% we add 120%. This is 125% uh, of uh, the radius y. Right? So how can I simplify 125%? If I can do 125 over 100, this would be equals to 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times, no, we can, can't do with 2, we can do with 5 times table. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times uh, 2 is 10 and 0. And then 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 4 is 20, right, uh, y. So the slant height L is 5 out of 4, y. 5 by 4 y because it says the slant height of a cone is 25 percent larger 25 percent larger means in 100 percent we add 25 percent then the radius of the cone the radius is y so we multiply it with y okay a solid sphere of radius r centimeter we have another shape which is a sphere its radius is r centimeter right the surface area of a sphere is equal to the total surface area of a cone. Part A show that y equals to 4 over r, uh, 4 r over 3. Okay, so the surface area of a sphere. So the formula for surface area of a sphere we have given, which is 4 pi. The radius of a sphere is r square. This is equal to the total surface area of a cone. The total surface area of a cone is curved surface area of a cone which is given and the area of a circle. Curved surface area of a cone is pi times radius which is y and L which is 5 by 4 y plus area of a circle pi r square the radius is y square. Right. Okay. So using this information we have to solve for y. So 4 pi r scale here we have uh, pi y scale 4 5 by 4 plus pi y scale right so we can take uh, pi y scale common so 4 pi r scale is pi y scale is common 4 over 5 plus 1 which is 4 times 1 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 by 4 so the next step 4 pi r scale which is pi y scale uh, this is 9 by 4 right we can cancel the pi with pi and let me solve for y right so if I can do the rest of the part over here right so here we have 4 r scale equals to 9 over 4 y scale so to solve for y, y square equals to 4 r square times the reciprocal of this which is 4 over 9.
right so y square equals to 16 over 9 r square and what is y y equals to 4 square is 16 square root of 3 is 3 is 9 and r so this is exactly same 4 r over 3 right now for part b find the volume of the cone in terms of r give your answer as simply as possible right okay in terms of r we have to find the volume of a cone and the top we have given the formula for the volume of a cone which is half pi r square h so cone radius is y and the height this is the height of the cone so first we have to find the height of the cone because it is a this is a right angle triangle we can use uh, the um, uh, Pythagoras theorem to solve for h right so by using Pythagoras theorem we can say that the height scale plus the slant height scale equals to the radius scale right so height we have to solve the equals to the radius is y scale minus the slant height is 5 over 4 y whole scale right so to solve for height height is y scale minus 25 over 4 square is 16 y scale right this is the height scale sorry and to solve for height we have to do the square root we have uh, y square is common and 1 minus 25 over 16 and square root so 16 minus 25 from 25 take away 16 we have uh, 1 here and 15 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so we have 9 left over here right so the value of h is square root y square into 9 over 16 9 the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 16 is 4 so 3 by 4 y is the height right now let me substitute everything into the formula the volume of a cone which is half 1 by 3 pi radius of a cone is y scale and the height of a cone is 3 by 4 y. 3 is cancelled with 3, right? So volume of a cone is left with uh, pi by 4, right? y cube. But we have to find the answer in terms of r. So we have to use uh, the value of y over here. That is 4 r over 3 from part a. So volume of a cone is 4 by pi by 4 and this is 4 r over 3 its whole cube right so volume of a cube is pi over 4 this is um, 4 cube is 4 times 4 is 16 and uh, 16 times 4 is 64 yes 64 r cube and 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 3 is 27 4 times 16 is 64 right so the simplified answer I got is 16 over 27, right, and pi r cube. This is a volume of a cone in terms of um, r, yes. So that was the last question of our paper. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.